That was one tough undead son of a bitch. But it won't be commanding anyone now. Without their general, the dead walkers should leave us alone for a while. But they'll reorganize, so we can't stay here. You're right, mercenary. Let's use the time to leave. It's now or never if we're going to get to Karabfas. My father and the armies of the Free Nations should be there. If we hurry, we may be able to participate in the mother of all battles and finally push back the Ice Lords. If thou dost throw thyself in this battle, the only thing that thou wouldst find is thy death, and the only chance thou hast for saving this world will disappear with thee. Their armies will not win. He knows this, but that is not what motivates him. He is seeking his father's approval. He wants to buy the crown by delivering us to his king. He believes we are at his command. But he is mistaken. I only serve and live for the world, Heart. Thy elven city is closer, I can feel it. Forget these suicidal battles. If thou join with them, thy so-called friends will end up turning against thee out of fear or envy. I can count on Relmar. He's ready to do anything to fight the Ice Lords, even opposing his own people. He's shown that. The elf bandit who saw the danger of the Ice Lords before anybody else. Interesting, but misleading. He is first and foremost an elf. Now that his brothers have realized he was right, does thou really think he will miss a chance at glory with his own people? Thou hast no more choice. Thou must hasten to the world, heart, and purify it. It is thine only chance. Do combat there, and if thou art not slain, at least one of thy companions, if not all of them, will betray thee to try and control or study the power I bring thee. Vulcan? Vulcan? You were far away. Is it the demon? He was talking to you, wasn't he? Yeah. Not that he has much to say. You have to make a decision soon. Will you join us in the battle at Karalfas? I don't know yet. I understand. It's been a long day. I'll let you think it over for a while. Let me know when you've made a decision. We'll go together to Karalfas. But once there, our paths will part. I have to find the World Heart and purify it. I hope that you will change your mind on the way. We will need you. It is but a stage. It is not enough. It is a stage. To move in haste would risk incinerating this body. And that is not what we want. Why think we that the necromancers use their ritual spears to suck the lifeblood from the world heart? Why think we is that not one among them can control the flame? They can but use the energy of the world heart. We hold its power, the flame. Aside from the dragons, no fleshly vessel has ever been able to master it. And see what good it did then. Now that I am revealed, the sorcerers will covet this power. As do thy supposed allies. Thou shouldst beware of them and their weakness. Let nothing stop thee from preserving thyself lest we finish, as did the dragons. Perhaps it is time I took things in hand. Vulcan, have you seen something? They use thee. There you are, sire. Right. Change of plan. Seeing how cold it is, it will come as no surprise to you to learn that the dead walkers have already been here. They're still close. We must rejoin my father's army as swiftly as we may. I think we already found them. Take a look around us. 
There are survivors. Apparently, they are camped not far from here. This soldier will lead us to them. Prince Arundel, my lord, can it be you? Soldier, what happened here? Is the king with you? The dead walkers took us by surprise. The cold and the ice. We stood no chance. Almost all of the city has been invaded by the ice. My father, where is the king? I... I know not, your highness. But a few of us were able to escape. Lord Commander Valen has built a camp close by the city. Valen is here. Take us to his camp. By your leave. Follow me, my lord. My prince, we had lost all hope of seeing you return safe. We have no word from Bastion. Bastion is lost, Valen. We came into this war too late. The General of the Alliance gave his life that I should escape with Relmar. The Deserter. What business did he have at Bastion? The Deserter was fighting, while you and your wondrous army waited warm and safe, sat upon their asses. I hope the result is pleasing to you, Valen. Silence, both of you. Relmar saved my life, Valen. For now, you will consider him pardoned. By your will, my lord. And I see that you are escorted by the Freeborn Blades. In truth, they are escorting the Red Scribes. But their presence is our good fortune. They have already once put the dead walkers to rout in the marshes. This woman slew one of their generals before my very eyes. I will tell you more of this later. Now I must speak with my father. Where is he? No one knows, my prince. The king was still in the royal palace when the river Estelduin fell upon the city. The river? What happened? Twas like a great wave that froze all that it touched. We had seen the approach of the Deadwalker's vanguard four days before, and we had raised Carol Toss's defenses in preparation. Not even the sight of ten juggernauts would have feared us. But we never dreamt that an Ice Lord would come to lead the assault himself. He walked calmly to within an arrow's flight of the gates, never once speaking. And then the river rose up from its bed to form a gigantic cloud that hung up over Keraldos. We understood our peril too late. Near all of our soldiers stood atop the ramparts or in the streets when the ice cloud fell. All were frozen where they stood. That was his signal to launch their assault, but we were already vanquished. We fought to cover our retreat. We must find the king! I know, my prince, but every entry to the city is guarded, and we cannot risk being discovered. It is clear we will not travel 200 paces if we do not first slay the sentinels close to the encampment. Only then will we be able to attempt to enter the city and save your father. I'm sorry. But you'll be going without the Freeborn Blades. Our mission here is completed. We will only be able to go on our reconnaissance mission. I had men in Karlthas. If they're still alive, I must do all I can to get them out. But if it's confirmed that they're dead, my company are leaving. The Red Scribes have been delivered to Karlthas. Our contract has been fulfilled. We are only delivered outside the city gates of Karlthas, Captain. The gold that we owe you lies inside its walls. We have brought you as close as is possible. I will not send my men to their slaughter. You are in the hands of the Elven army now, Liestas, as was promised. The fact that you failed in your mission is not my problem. You can keep your god's damn gold. There's nowhere left in this cursed region to spend it anyhow. That is regrettable, Captain. Your experience would have been a boon to us. I can only hope you will reconsider your decision. Some of my soldiers tell me that the Deadwalkers have taken prisoners. Perhaps your own men are amongst those unhappy souls. Hmm. Vulcan, we'll make camp close to the south gate. You go and question those lads. With a little luck, one of them might have seen something. Understood, Captain. Wait! Wait! There are many powerful creatures around us. How powerful? One of them feels too strong, even for you. The others are less able to resist you. 
You should start with the weaker ones and absorb their energy before taking on the big one. Do you think you can handle it? I'll let you know after I've tried. The Blades who were in the city, do you think they made it? I hope so. I really hope so. After all, they shouldn't have been taking part in the battle. With a bit of luck, they weren't in the front line when the ice wave struck. Generally, the Ice Lords don't kill those they captured. They like to keep their prisoners close by. Let's hope that our lads are amongst them. And maybe we can free them. Now I've seen everything. The Dead Walkers kicking each other's asses. I beg your pardon? What? This one talks. What the hell are you? A lich? A zombie scribe? We've only known one another a few seconds, and already you insult me. Charming, I must say. If you aren't one of them, then what are you? I am an immortal, superior spirit. And you? So, you're an Ice Lord? I thought you'd be... taller or something. I have absolutely no involvement with that bunch of cheapskate conjurers. And I would never humiliate myself by working for them, since that's what you seem to be suggesting. Oh yeah? Rotting flesh, check. Bones sticking out, check. Shitty complexion, check. You sure as hell look like a damn dead walker to me. Tut tut. Did no one ever tell you not to judge a book by its cover? It's true that you're young, but use your wits. Would I be fighting my own troops if what you suggest were the truth? All I can be sure of is that you're not really... Alive. And that means you're my enemy. Plus the fact, you're in my way. body will not survive more punishment. In all my 6,000 years, I have never witnessed such power. You seem to be as unique a being as I am. What is the source of your power? What are you? There's a demon inside me, a creature of flame that claims to come from the world heart. How fascinating. Even if the term demon seems to lack precision, nonetheless, I must confess that in spite of my vast knowledge, I have no idea what this entity really is. At last, something interesting. I was almost dying of boredom. I suspect that exploring what's inside you will probably be quite exciting. If you will forgive the illusion, a gentle joke. Never mind. At any rate, I'm coming with you. Ha! Ah, see? I did it again. Oh, come on, do lighten up. So how shall we begin our newfound friendship? I have to go into Carol Bass. You seem to know your way around. Come with me. But of course, there is no finer guide than myself. I know a secret way into Karalthas. This city is an open grave. A tomb where the dead may not rest in peace. Cruel, yet inventive. You'd know all about that. We'll be lucky if we find any survivors. We're looking for other members of the Freeborn Blades. That mean anything to you? The what? What's that? The Freeborn Blades, a mercenary company. Huh. Yeah, I heard of them. I think they're in the southern part of the city. That's where the king was last seen. Maybe you can find him. The king? What do you mean? I can't be certain he's still there. Maybe he's been captured. We can only hope that he's still alive. Prince Arundel, what are you doing here, my lord? I followed you, Vulcan. I must save our king, with or without your aid. What is 
this thing? I don't know, but it doesn't look right. Son? My boy? Can it be you? Oh, fuck. By all the gods. Father? It cannot be! Do not look upon me. I, I... I am so sorry. Do not stay here. Take the crown and leave this place. Oh, Father. But what have they done to you? I surrendered. Lord Blackfrost told me that he was slain. That Marshal Winter's army had left no survivors at Bastion. I had not the strength to even raise my sword. And so he... changed us. Remade us, the other nobles and I. And all those who had taken refuge in the palace. He wanted me to witness our end. So that I would live without defeat and news of your death for eternity. But you are alive. <laughs> you live. Your mother and I are so relieved to know you live. Mother? But how? How can I release you from this curse? My son, if you only knew how sorry we are, you cannot save us. We are condemned to this abomination. You must slay us. The others, the Queen, the Count, all of these people. I feel their suffering. Hear their screams within me. Put an end to it, I beg you. Free us that our souls may be with you. Sire, I... I can take care of this, if you want me to. For pity, my boy. Whatever you decide. Take the crown. <laughs> hid in this twisted corpse than in a dozen juggernauts. I will not stand by and watch those blood-sucking necromancers steal it from me once more. Sire, please step aside. the power that was stolen from the world heart. How dare you? That is my father, the king of Caralthas. I must, I have to perform the funeral rite to free his soul. Have you no respect? Respect for him that joineth with the dead walkers? Ah, I think not. We have to get back to the camp before the dead walkers come for us. The death of one of the liches is bound to have gotten their attention. I will come soon. I must first perform a ritual to free my father's soul from this unholy carcass so that it may stay with me. I'll wait outside. For to wait for Arendelle, not in his condition. The dead walkers will be scouring the city to find out who killed their lich. We gotta get back to the camp, fast. Dost thou feel the power of the world heart flowing through us since thou didst absorb the lich? I feel a little stronger, but it isn't enough. It is far from over. This power comes straight from the necromancers. 
who sucked it from the world heart. We must starve them. They attacked the wrong person. How dare they condemn our king to such a macabre fate? My father. It's time for us to repay the dead walkers in kind. I want to see them destroyed, so not a single one of those dead ever dare set foot in our streets again. We're going to launch a massive assault to take back our city. It is time to turn the tide of this war. Vulcan, we will need you and your extraordinary abilities. We have to send a small group to open the city gates. I'm counting on you. I know that you can be stealthy and incredibly effective. A few soldiers will be going with you. This is our best chance. Black Frost doesn't seem to be here anymore, and most of his forces went with him. Though this prince knows it not, he is of use. The Necromancer's palace will take us to the World Heart. If he wishes to distract our enemy, all the better. All right. Count me in on this mission, but nothing more. I don't intend to take part in the fighting to retake the city, but your last stand coincides with my objectives. Black Frost should find your army fascinating. He'll send a large part of his troops against you, and he might even show up in person. And as it appears that his realm is one of the paths to the World Heart, that'll clear the way for me. I would have preferred more assistance, but that'll have to do. This will be a magnificent battle. If you say so. Thou doth make a great error. The only thing that counts is reaching the World Heart. And the Necromancer, or rather his palace, is the key. We should go there now. An undead? In our camp? Aren't you afraid it'll communicate with its masters? It's a calculated risk. Your friend Edwin told me that she can interrogate those creatures. So we captured one. You really can do some pretty weird things. Listen, Vulcan. We're not going to turn down any information. If we can find out how to haul our asses out of the fire, I don't see how it can hurt. Ready to make it talk? If our fire breather doesn't need me right away, I can start getting ready. Excellent. Let's start the interrogation. Listen, maggot head. You're going to tell us everything you know. Uh, that's not quite how it works, Captain. It can't just answer questions like that. Tell me what you want to know, and I'll dig around in its memory to find the answers. In that case, why not dig everything out, so we don't miss anything? Even for someone as skilled as me, that could take weeks. Its brain, however limited, is like an immense archive that contains both recent memories and memories of its past life. All right. I want to know if that bastard Black Frost really has left the area. Let me concentrate. Yes. I see him raising the wave and turning the whole city into ice. This soldier must have been at his feet. Then he gave the order to attack and gave orders to several powerful undead. Uh, apparently he left right after. He appears nowhere else in its memory. What are those powerful dead you were talking about? I see a flying creature, like the one in the swamp, and others. The image is blurred. What were Black Frost's orders? You have to understand that this creature's ability to comprehend is limited. From what I can see, it was told to keep watch over the city. He asked to be sent living people. Mm, prisoners. The other living people must still be alive and under guard. Other prisoners. And of course, that he be informed in the event of trouble. Does he know we entered the city? This dead thing doesn't anyway. But that doesn't mean a thing, unfortunately. I think that he... Oh no! He saw me! Huh? Who are you talking about? Well, well. Probing the spirits of the dead. You can well imagine that this sort of communication goes both ways. So, that's where my dear rebels are hiding, isn't it? I must break the link! Right now! Get your shit packed. 
We're getting out of here as soon as possible. Our contract is over. But, Captain, after all we've done here... Listen to me. We have no chance against the Deadwalker army, no matter what powers you have. And I'm not sending my company into a massacre. I didn't lead the company here to save this city. The only reason we came was to get our lads back. There was never any question of anything else. Damn it, Captain, this is an important battle. You gotta let the Blades in on it. There's a creature in this city that I have to face. And absorb. If you can't understand that, then I guess it's time I took your place. You wouldn't dare. You don't stand a chance against me. Really? Then by the laws of the Freeborn Blades, I challenge you for the leadership of this company. Very well. If that's what you want, come and get some. I'm done with giving away free gifts. I always knew it would be you. He didn't leave me any choice. This was well done. We need to go find Prince Arendelle. We gotta hurry up and plan our attack. We have to reach an agreement on the assault we're going to launch. Very well. Our strategy will essentially depend on you and your companions. I'll be attaching a group of soldiers to your party for support. That's out of the question. The more of us there are, the greater the risk that will be noticed. I'm taking Edwin. Her knowledge and powers make her the best suited to go with me. I would very much like you to have someone I trust with you. And this Edwin does not seem like that person. She'll be delighted to hear that. I could go with you. You know that I'm stealthy and can make myself useful. That's a pretty good compromise. With the three of us, we stand a chance. What do you say, Your Highness? I agree. I'm counting on you, Relmar, to remember the interests of your people. The result of this battle depends on your success. You need to sneak into the city, get to the drawbridge, and lower it. Then you can open the gate for us. I will personally be leading our army, and I'll enter the city as soon as you've opened the gate. I think that the element of surprise and our advantage in numbers should be enough to overcome the Deadwalkers. Once the gates are open, I'm not sticking around. I'll have to use the diversion to get to Blackfrost's realm. Are you ready for the assault? There must be neither distraction nor setback. We won't have a second chance. If you have business to deal with, you should deal with it now. I'm ready. We're not alone. What the hell is that thing with all those legs? It is a concubine. Lord Blackfrost has always had somewhat unusual erotic tastes. Why would she be here, unless she already knows of our plan? Curse them. Look at the support pillars. They crawl with dead walkers. A trap, and a good one. Your little friends will be taken from the rear, if you'll pardon the expression. We must prevent it. We have to hurry to open the drawbridge. I say we must not. This concubine has given us an opportunity. We must attack her while her troops are busy elsewhere. These are creatures of great power. You must absorb them one by one if you hope to stand against Lord Blackfrost. Those other men are already as good as lost. Do not heed the words of this witch! If you do not open the bridge, all our soldiers will die and this war will be over. I do not believe you even have need of this misshapen beast's supposed power. This evil whore is twisting your mind. She wishes to weaken us. From the beginning, she has been hiding something from us, and it will go ill for you if you trust her. Really? I would have hoped for a little more affection from someone who spies on me when I bathe. Romar's right. 
If we do nothing, those elves are screwed. So be it. Go then. Help your lost army, but remember that you have condemned us all. At best, you will gain a little time, but you will never have a better chance than the one that you are now throwing away. Responsible for the death of his general? But you are mine. None but me dare lay hands upon my concubines, not even the other ice lords. This is a lesson you will learn from pain an eternity of pain. <laughs> These powers of yours are interesting. Nonetheless, you just aren't in the same class as a Lord of the Frozen Shadows. It wouldn't be sporting of me to eliminate you so early in the day. But you do have potential. I will leave you a little time to build your strength. When you think you're ready to face me, come to my domain. We will finish this once and for all. Well, I think we should count ourselves fortunate that he seems to like you. Though I'm not sure how I feel about that. Huh? Where did Edwin go? I know not, but I for one shall not miss her. It would not surprise me if she had betrayed us and returned to the enemy. That would make no sense. Perhaps it would to her. Let us go and help my brothers. We will have need of all our allies if we are to conquer this Ice Lord. Let's go. Now draw is near. I do feel it. Us. It is his trap. The necromancer craves our power for himself alone. He will not have warned the others of our approach. His trap and his greed will be his undoing. I am still not powerful enough. But thou wilt so become. The domain is peopled by superior creatures that are bathed in the energy of the world heart. Our energy. Once there, Thou wilt know what to do. But be swift. I cannot long endure. Thou must concentrate upon these powerful creatures and waste not thy time with the others. I will go to the world heart when I'm ready. 
This necromancer is an obstacle that cannot be ignored. No. I have had enough of this prison, of this sacrilege, of this servitude. How dare thee abandon me thus? Thou art no better than they. Wake up, Vulcan. This is not the moment. All this energy, everywhere, we draw near to our goal. It's another one of those bitches. I knew that you would find us. Did you get separated? Where are the others? Ah, uh, well, the attack of this concubine took us by surprise. The group was broken up, and unfortunately not everyone managed to escape. We set up camp and did some reconnaissance. What did you find out? Not very much for the moment. This area is particularly hostile. There is a powerful, corrupting magic everywhere. It seems to strengthen the undead and weaken us. Nevertheless, Mathras seems to thrive in this strange atmosphere. He has been serving as our scout. I've been sensing something unhealthy in the air. This field of corruption might cause us to slow down. I can feel it too. It's not the nicest feeling I've ever had, but I don't think it's going to slow us down much. Speak for yourself. My head feels like an anvil, and that's without my even listening to Ranval say anything. If I have to continually fight against this evil magic, there's a good chance that I will start to slow you down. I understand. Let's go and find Mathras. He might have found out something useful. Mathras, you're still alive? Or undead? Are you trying to be funny? Of course I am. Though I did nearly have to change bodies. So here we are, a little closer to our goal. Of course, the next thing we must do is to find a way to dispose of Blackfart's wives. Blackfart's wives? Are you shocked? Blackfrost's polygamy is probably a reflection of his megalomania even though it was quite common in the past. The most powerful of them is called the Guardian. She is protecting the palace entry, and I fear she is invulnerable as long as her three sisters live. You must first face the Creator, the Stalker, and then the Watcher, if you are to have any chance of defeating her. I've already beaten one of them. I can kill the others. You are more than capable, my dear. There is no doubt about that. But. This place is bathed in a kind of corruption that lends strength to these creatures. Is there a way of getting rid of it? Probably. There are still a few red scribes around. Stupid though they are, they may have some idea how to proceed. I'm happy to see that you are still alive. I wish I could say the same for your companions. Sybil? Branval? Neither they nor your mercenary comrades show any sign of life, which leads me to think... What horrible carnage. 
I'll take a look around the place in case one of them is still alive. Even if there's only a slim chance, you shouldn't hesitate. Unfortunately, we've got something else on our minds. Mathras Dodless spoke to you about the strange corruption in this place. Corruption that makes the undead much more powerful, sometimes even unbeatable. Do you know of a way to cut it down or block it? I believe I have an idea, yes. The corruption does not extend to all places in the same way. Some areas seem to be exempt. And I believe the undead I saw there were less comfortable. These are exactly the same places as where the crystals with magical capabilities can be found. If you can gather some, we will be able to make you a talisman that will let you drive back the corruption around you. And so fight the undead as you usually would. Will it repulse the dead walkers? I doubt that the lone talisman is powerful enough for that. Added to which, you have to stay completely still. But the idea... When he looks like that, it means he's trying to think. Funny, isn't it? Here, I'll show you the zones where you can find the crystals on your map. Excuse me, I was lost in thought. Here, take this to gather the crystals, and bring us back as many as possible. That's a pretty good idea. If we place the crystals around the camp, we should be able to keep the undead away from here. Of course, we'll need more than it takes to make a single talisman. All right, I'll bring it back for you. Vulcan, you came. I... thank you. But I think that... I'm sorry. My time is near. You're not dying here. Tell me what I can do. I... need... medicine. A potion. A bandage. Something. My strength is almost gone. I can't do it myself. Here, I got what you need. It's gonna help. I thought I wouldn't make it. Thank you, Vulcan. Don't mention it. I was just passing by, you know. How the hell did you get yourself into this mess? After you disappeared, I got separated from the other survivors. Three other scribes were with me, but we were attacked by one of the concubines. It was the Creator, one of Black Frost's wives. And she let you go? I wish she had. No, the other scribes threw themselves at her so I could escape. They... they gave their lives to save me. That God's damned piece of filth! I'm gonna make her pay! I've never seen you angry before, but there are other more urgent things first. We should leave here. Come with me. She's coming back with me. Wait for me back at the camp. You will go no further. Edwin, or should I say White Lady, it's nice of you to come and see me. You'd left in such a rush. Laugh while you can, you idiot. Your stupidity has condemned this world. That's funny, coming from a fallen ice lady. You had a chance to take Black Frost by surprise. A unique opportunity to thwart him. And you let it slip through your fingers. What? Do you think I'm here to enjoy the scenery? You are here because he wishes it so. He's waiting for you. You have given him time to prepare for you, to think of a way to get his hands on the power you hold. And there can be no question of letting him do as he wishes. For over a year, I have labored alone to liberate the world heart. The power belongs to me and no one else. Don't worry. I'm gonna give you more than you can take. <laughs>
I found your crystals. Good. Very good. But I'm afraid that it's too late. Look around you. There's only a handful of us left. As soon as Black Frost turns his attention to the camp, we are finished. What's the point of wearing myself out to make this talisman for you? We may as well just surrender. You aren't even human anymore. What kind of decisions can we expect a creature like you to make? So you think that the only thing that counts is the way I look? You forget what I am, and the powers I have. Powers that have let us take down several key players in the Ice Lord's game. I'm sure Black Frost is quaking in his boots at the idea of seeing me show up at his place. But to do that, I need to make progress. And to do that... I don't understand how you can be so calm with everything that's happening to us. You're right. I'll make the talisman for you. But you should speak to Mathras. He, seem, he seems to know things we don't about the creatures blocking the road. The news is not great. According to what I've been able to find out with Mathras, the Palace of Black Frost is guarded by another one of his concubines. And it looks like she's too powerful for me to take. Well, there was never much doubt about that, my sweet, if you'll pardon my honesty. All is not lost, however. As I told you before, if you manage to eliminate the three other concubines, the power of the Guardian will be considerably reduced. While our own power is increased. That's the plan. If someone wants to come with me, we'll go together and track down these misunderstood love monsters. I'll be counting on the others to guard the camp. It's bound to get pretty hot around here very quickly. Even more so if I mess this up. I could come with you. I may not be the most powerful being among us, but I do know how to make myself useful. You can trust me to help. You are more than qualified to help me, Sybil. I have no doubts about that. I'll go. I'm the best hunter you will find. And I have a score to settle with those harlots. You make a good argument. But try to keep your head on your shoulders, would you? Hey, it's me, remember? My goodness, going on a concubine hunt sounds an awful lot of fun. I will assist you by diverting the attention of the one they call the Stalker. I'll arrange it so that she stays on the side of the ancient bridge near the doors to the city. Meanwhile, you can deal with her two sisters without fear of interruption. I would, however, advise you not to waste too much time. I'm not convinced my conversation will hold these illiterates' attention indefinitely. Here, this object should prove useful to you. I don't know whether it will function perfectly, or even less for how long, but I sort of had to improvise. Uh, well, thanks, I guess. What does it do? If it works, the same thing as the pillars, except that you can carry this with you. It minimizes the corrupting magic around you. The concubines and the undead that you will meet will find themselves weakened. Sounds great. Thanks, Liestas. It's time for me to go do it. Good luck to you here. Good luck to you. Did anyone ever tell you you're pig ugly? Yeah, I've been getting a lot of that lately. I was wondering when you'd chime in. Afraid you weren't looking at me anymore. Hmm. Good to see you, Vulcan. I was up the creek this time. I didn't want to tarnish the legend. Don't stay here. There's a camp not far away. But you're starving. I heard voices across the way there. Elves, I think. Also prisoners. I'll go have a look. Did you see any of our guys around? Yeah. There's one of those ugly women on four legs around. She got several of our guys. I was able to observe her a bit. Looks like she's avoiding those pillars that are around here. That may be something you can use if you feel like fighting her. And knowing you... A concubine, huh? Yeah. I won't let her get away from me. Good. More power. Smoker. surprised to find that he is happy to still be alive. There's no way I was gonna leave you like that. 
Come on, let's get you out of here. Mathras, go back and wait for me at the camp. I'm sure you know the way. You probably built a road or something, right? Bitch won't be ruining the sewers with her rotting waste anymore. Another great victory. But a more perilous battle still awaits us. I think we've pretty much taken care of the concubines. That just leaves the Guardian. And the palace. The Knight cannot wait to see this battle. But perhaps the Knight's friend would like to say her goodbyes at the camp? Obviously we need to be ready for the palace. But as far as the camp goes, if I go back, it won't be to say goodbye. I'm planning on winning this fight. You? You are mine. You belong to me. In your dreams, I am Lord Blackfrost's number one concubine. I belong to no one but him. I will present him with thy insectoid carcass after I have picked my teeth with thy dainty feet. It is thy power that doth interest me. My power, that which thy master hath stolen from me. You think you will defeat because you bested my daughters. I should thank you for getting rid of those harlots by offering you a quick but unfortunately for you, my lord Blackfrost has other plans where you are concerned. How fascinating. You are about to actually penetrate the realm of Lord Blackfrost. But do not fool yourself. You did not win your passage alone. It was the evil Lord himself who opened the way inside. He's testing me. Yes. And it would appear he now knows what to expect. This should be one of the most fascinating confrontations of the last several thousand years. I simply cannot wait to see the outcome. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to get it over with. It's time to take care of Black Frost. If you're certain you've taken care of your affairs here, I can see no reason to delay the inevitable any further. We've waited long enough. All his defenses are down. Concubines are dead. We need to strike now before he has time to react. So be it. Let's do it. some real progress, yes, yes, you have. Yeah, well, your concubines won't be progressing anywhere ever. From now on, you're on your own, and there's no escape. Well, that was never my intention. I am in my realm here. You and your companions are my guests. Oh, it seems that you two have lost some friends along the way. How very sad. More than most, I know how fragile a friendly alliance can be. The knight will tear out your tongue just before he watches you die. And it is I who will extract what belongs to me from thy dead carcass. <laughs> Well, 
In 6,000 years of existence, I don't think I've ever had a day quite as interesting as this one. Vulcan, my dear, this was a fight that deserves to be included in the history books, and I will make certain that it is. You may count on me to tell future generations about your exploits, if there is a future, that is. But that, of course, will depend on you. That affears me not. I must return to the World Heart. Clearly. And that is precisely why we are here. Each Ice Lord possesses the means to gain access to the World Heart from his or her own palace. It would doubtless be prudent to borrow this one before the other Ice Lords have time to react. Ah, uh, I would have loved to accompany you, but I fear your destiny is to continue alone. The World Heart obeys neither the same rules nor the same magic as does the rest of Vertil. What you find there will be exactly what you bring. I have need of no one. Fine. Well, good luck to you. said I would come. But thou hast taken thy time. When thou didst flee, leaving me here at the mercy of these sorcerers, what did thou think would become of me? Didst thou even take time to think? I did not lie to thee. I had no choice. I had to seize this chance to escape and find a way to fight back, lest we be enslaved here for all eternity. Eternity? Dost thou know how slow the hours pass when thou art the prey of six humans, consumed by their lust for power and vengeance? I know this as well as thee. Thou dost not! Thou knowest nothing. I too made use of the confusion. I reposted. I struck back at them, weakened them, but thou hast abandoned me to them. But now I am returned, and together... We will crush them. It's true. Thou art returned.
I knew that thou wouldst allow these humans to corrupt thee. A dragon. You summoned a dragon. Ha! One of the few they were able to corrupt, and I turned it against them. Black Storm defeated it and imprisoned it here. It was trapped like me. So now you turned it against me. It is thee who has turned against me, abandoning me here, left to pay the price for each and all of thy errors in thy stead, whilst I did all I could to help thee to return. And so it is, I am come to the end of my strength, an empty shell o'ertaken with rot. I did not wish to harm thee, but I no longer am master of all that I do. Is that why thou hast killed my companions? Is that why you killed my companions? The visions? Speak rather to the human half, for that is who hath invoked them, with its fear and its regrets. Thy companions never travel through the breach. So it comes to this. You and me. It's time we ended this. Ha! It is all I have awaited. Remove these accursed lances from me, and let the world heart become whole once more. We don't need to go that far. All we need is to remove these spears, and the necromancers will be left powerless. As powerless as when they enslave the world heart? No, it will not suffice. They must be annihilated. I'll track them down. The dead walkers will be gone, the survivors will have a chance, and Vertiel will be rebuilt, little by little. Little by little? It would take centuries, nay, thousands of years for thy world to rebuild its energy. The world heart hath not been remade whole. Thou must permit me to rejoin with mine other half. So that you can take over and burn Vertiel? No thanks. I am the most powerful being in the two worlds. I've got responsibilities. Thou wouldst use me to reign over them, as did the necromancers. How long dost thou imagine that I shall allow thee to use me in this way? I don't know, but you'd better get used to it. You were the one talking about centuries and thousands of years before our worlds can be rebuilt. And I plan on being right there to keep an eye on them. Meanwhile, let me enjoy this victory in silence. Do you mind? the necromancers will not suffice for them. Others will return to enslave the power of the world heart once more. There is but one remedy. One sentence that must be passed. No! They've learned their lesson. They'll be able to make a fresh start. Their world must be destroyed with pain. Can't just condemn all of you men. 